hello dear students this is isaac physics so here cool column meter okay cool column meter is a basically device uh, that used for measuring the amount of charge which has been passed through the circuit so in in order to find the charge amount of charge we use a device that that is known as colo colo meter okay colo is just like column meter you can say that the, the word column okay column meter okay here we have uh, we have three three uh, metals just like a b and c a and b are the copper column meter a and b are the copper column meter and uh, c is the silver silver column meter okay silver column meter okay and uh, after current has been passed uh, for a time so that the when we switch on this power supply so that the current passes through this uh, silver and then uh, to, to the copper and the uh, copper metal a and b and c the mass deposit on the silver is 1.08 the mass on the silver is given the mass of the copper deposit is 0.118 what is the mass of co uh, copper deposit in a and the relative atomic mass of copper and silvers are given okay so uh, in order to solve this first we know that the total charges the total charges passes through the silver and then they divide into two parts uh, some charges goes through a point and some charges goes to b part the charge has been divided okay, first we find the total charge that passes through the silver okay the total mass of the copper deposit first we find the uh, copper mass okay so in order to find a copper mass we use the formula we use this formula so that the uh, total number of copper uh, total number of silvers total number of charges on silver silver that is represented by c which is equal to okay we use formula for first we find first we find number of moles number of moles that deposit on silver so number of moles is as we know that number of moles equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass molar mass that is gram per mole that is mass if we divide mass our molar mass we get the number of moles so the number of moles on c or silver c equal to mass mass of the silver is mass in gram the silver deposit is given that is 1.08 gram and the molar mass of the silver is 108 gram per mole so gram will be cancelled so we are left with the uh, we are left with the we divide this and we get some value okay so if you want to find the uh, if you want to find the uh, total number of charges so we multiply with the total number of charges equal to number of mole number of moles multiply by the avogadro number avogadro number because you know that the avogadro number consists of a fixed amount okay so number of moles 1.08 gram divided by 108 gram per mole multiply by you multiply with the avogadro number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so we get uh, so we get the total number of charges that equal to 6.021 into 10 to the power 21 so these are the charges on c okay similarly we solve for a as we know that the total number of charges are divided in then the charges are divided in two parts b and a so if we find the tar charges on b then we can calculate the a so, so we use similar formula the total number of number of charges on b on b equal to mass over mass in gram over molar mass 
multiply by Avogadro number that is 6.02 to into 10 power 23. So the mass of B deposit is given in the question that is 0 0.1 and 18 gram divided by molar mass of copper deposit is 63.6 gram per mole. So gram will be cancelled multiply with the 6.02 to into 10 power 23. So that the B deposit is the amount of B deposit is 2.235 into 10 to the power 21 okay so what does it mean so it means the number of a number of uh, charge deposit in a can be found by the difference by taking the difference between c and b c minus b we get a so total number of charges one more thing here we have to multiply with the two because copper uh, atomic number is copper has plus two plus two plus two ions so there are two ions so we have to multiply with the two okay so total number of charges uh, on a deposit on a equal to so we have to take the difference total charges in c charge in c minus total charges in b total charges in b so we have to take the difference we have to subtract this one 6.023 minus Z2.235 into 10 to the power 21. So we get uh, 3.788 into 10 to the power 21. So these are the charges on A. So if we have the value of the number of charges, so we can find uh, uh, the mass. So mass is given by, so the number of charges N on uh, A equal to mass on uh, a divided by molar mass uh, molar mass molar mass molar mass and we multiply with the one minute i have to write the clear molar mass molar mass and multi multiply with the avogadro number avogadro number n a okay now we solve for m a mass of the a so m mass a is equal to total number of a uh, charges on a multiplied by the molar mass multiplied by the molar mass divided by the Gaudra number so we put the values m a is equal to number of charges in a we have found 3.7 to the power 21 3.788 into 10 to the power 21 multiply with the molar mass of the uh, copper deposit is uh, molar mass of the copper deposit is uh, yes copper deposit is 63.6 gram per mole 63.6 gram per mole and we also have to multiply with the two because there are two uh, ions so so the plus two ions. So n Avogadro number is six point zero two three into ten to the power zero two two into ten power twenty three. So mass on A is mass deposit on A is zero point two zero zero. We round off to zero point three significant figures. So if you check this Isaac physics, so we get the same answer. Okay, thank you. Zero point three three, uh, zero point two zero zero. Okay, cool, cool, column meters, cool. We can check the answer, 0 0.200. One minute, I have to check the answer, 0 0.200. So, the unit is in gram. Yes, correct, this one is the correct. Okay, thank you.